what is going on everybody welcome back uh, here is the Kyosho Turbo Optima Gold Edition uh, promised everybody a look at it uh, waiting to get started building something uh, but I have like six packages lost in the mail stuck in the mail somewhere between here and where I ordered them from so figured I'd get this video out real quick while I'm waiting for parts uh, awesome kit if you haven't seen one uh, Kyosho went a little above above and beyond on their re-releases uh, this originally came out, I believe, in 1988, I think, or 86, somewhere in there. Uh, they've beefed everything up so it can take a modern brushless system. Uh, that's what they say, anyway. Uh, I would like to put a Kyosho Le Mans motor in this, but those are very hard to find for some reason. Uh, maybe after the holidays, they'll have them back in stock. Uh, but let's take a look at what comes in the box. There is a lot of bling in this kit. I can tell you that. Uh, a lot of... Uh, let me slide this out of the way here. We'll go through a little bit at a time. Of course, first thing you have is the body. And you probably can't even see that on the video because it is clear Lexan and the driver figure also vacuum form Lexan and <laughs> come back here uh, tires four tires. Uh, these are very soft. Very soft compared to like a Tamiya tire. Uh, little block pattern. Don't know how well that's showing up. Uh, but very soft. And of course there's four of them. The fronts and rears are the same. Now oh, let's look at the good stuff. Uh, it does have uh, chain drive sprockets, but the chain you buy separate, and then it also has the belt and the belt drive pulleys. Uh, now, I've heard the chain can stretch to the point that you have to take links out of it. Uh, that's what I've heard. How true that is, uh, I can't really say. Uh, I believe the original actually came with the chain, and the belt was an upgrade. Uh, but I can't swear to it. I couldn't find a whole lot uh, in the short time that I was kind of hunting around. But uh, metal gears, of course, except for the spur. We'll set that aside. Oof. Tight fit. All right. Here's your other rear plate. There are your main chassis rails, and you can tell all the gold anodizing. Uh, this this thing really stands out. Uh, there's your front knuckles, uh, your skid, front guard. Uh, now this has the slots. I don't know how well you can see those the slots here. You loosen those screws up, and you can pull the whole front suspension forward. That's how you adjust the tension on the belt. And we have a box of parts. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see, you got the driver's helmet, uh, your gear box parts, there's your upper deck, uh, shock parts, I think, shock parts. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I've never built a Kyosho kit before. Uh, I also love that it says plastic bag. So. <laughs> There's your front bumper. Uh, looks like gearbox cover. A little suspension doodad and doohickeys. And, uh, there's your gearbox. Uh, this 
This is a four wheel drive vehicle. Oh, and now we have a box with more bling. There are our wheels. Now I did order one of the packages I'm waiting for is I ordered these wheels in black. And, uh, we'll go over why here in a little bit. But, uh, it was very cheap. Uh, they were, I think, $12 for a set. Uh, some suspension components and bearings. It's bag E. Uh, drive shafts. Uh, a spare parts bag. Well, that's interesting. A little spare parts bag. Good to have spare parts, just in case. Uh, there's your uh, shock towers, also in anodized gold. Uh, bearings and screws, that's your D-bag. Everybody get a chuckle out of that, the D-bag. Uh, there's your uh, thread lock. There's your chassis pan. Uh, rear motor guard. Now, when the original was released, uh, the, the rear motor guard was an option part. We bought that separate. Uh, and at best of my knowledge, the original wasn't anodized gold. I think that's just something they did for the re-release. But it is uh, uh, quite pretty, shall we say. Well, let's see. There's the F bag. That's got our battery hold downs. Uh, shock oil. Uh, shock springs in gold, uh, felt tape and a few other little doodads, there's some gears in there, and some O-rings, uh, and more bling here in bag C, there's our servo saver, which is pre-assembled it looks like, uh, there's more, uh, I believe that's what holds the front gearbox in maybe, I think, if I remember right. Uh, spring there for something for the uh, clutch maybe. Get the clutch spring. And in here we got some tools, some drive cups, a few gears, bearings. And that's about it. Set of Allen wrenches. And that's all. Oh, there's one more thing. You get uh, squished down in the box. You have uh, tire foams, which are <laughs> kind of deformed. <laughs> maybe I'll take those out of there. Maybe they'll... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's your tire foams. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'll kind of let those breathe a little bit. Maybe they'll come back somewhat into shape if they sit out of the box for a little while. <laughs> wow. But anyway, like I said, a very nice kit. Uh, you know, I remember back in the 80s seeing these on the shelves with the Tamiya down at my local hobby shop. And, uh, Man, they were so much more expensive than most of the Tamias. You know, it was, uh, oh, uh, you know, I was a young guy just out of high school. I was like, you know, I got to go with the with the one that's a hundred bucks instead of the one that's two hundred bucks. You know, but a uh, very nice kit. And uh, my plan for this is to find a Kyosho Le Mans motor first when I can get one. But what I'd like to do is the part I've ordered the black wheels and the part where you see white on the body uh, I want to do in black I think that'll really make the gold chassis and everything really pop a little bit uh, it's doubtful I will, will ever run this car uh, maybe zip it around on the carpet here in the house but uh, as far as taking it out in the dirt and scratching all that uh, yeah, uh, probably not. Uh, I got this more as a just, uh, 
you know, something I remember from when I was younger. And I have a couple other Kyosho kits as well. Uh, but this one is the one I remember more so than the others. Uh, but uh, anyway, just figured I'd uh, share it with you, let you get a look at it. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long before I can get my hands on a motor. Uh, if I have to, I mean, I can build it and put the motor in it later, which it may come to that. But uh, let's see, this is the this is December... December, what is today? December 13th. Sunday the 13th. Uh, I hope to get something in this coming week so I can get something built next weekend uh, or at least during Christmas week, which is coming up. So anyway, hopefully, fingers crossed, mailman will come through. Uh, anyway, hope everybody out there is staying safe. And uh, till next time, later.